morning all, good morning all. It's a glorious day in London, the sun is out, it puts one's mood up immediately. Even though actually I woke up this morning feeling very tired and I went to do a workout and I just then put on a very difficult colour for me to wear. So what I'm going to do today, this morning, we're going to look at some exfoliators and cleansers from the high street because I haven't done it for a while so I said to you I go to Boots. So I went into Boots and I did a bit of a shop up and I've tried a few of them and I have my thoughts on it. So um, I, you know my obsession with uh, cleansing and exfoliating and, and sometimes knowing the order in which we should do products is tricky. But I always felt that I quite like to exfoliate and then use a um, balm. And the reason for that is I kind of want to open up the pores, get stuff out, and then the balm goes in and does a deep cleanse. Some of you might prefer the other way and use your balm to kind of take off your eye makeup and then exfoliate. But a few years ago, I'd done this forever and I met a very nice man, Dr. Lancer, whose polish I like, and he has always practiced that method as well. So I felt reassured, even though it seemed weird, and you might still have a bit of your eye makeup on, to do the exfoliation first. So I'm gonna do that, good morning, Emma Ferrer. I'm gonna do that this morning, and um, I've got people outside doing makeup, so I'm just locking, locking the door. Um, good morning, Larissa, good morning, more than, good morning, Emma. Um, chocolate handbag, good morning, Kathleen, Emma. And by the way, can I just say on yesterday's, um, giveaway of my brogues. Lily, our lovely lady, some of you might know from Trini London, is going through every um, DM message on Trini London. So by 12 o'clock, we should have our four winners of the giveaway. And then I'll uh, leave a note on stories as to who's won. But it was really fun to do because I felt, you know, I could go and sell them and get a tenth of their value. But I kind of want to give them to people who really love brogues and, and, and share my brogue obsession. So. That's why it happened. Um, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, Sue's from Melbourne and Ray Doherty. He, he, he's always on and on and chatting away and I think he looks after his skin incredibly well. Kirsty, good morning. Tom, Leslie and Michelle, Sonia, Sonia, Ray's again with his sunshine umbrellas. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna start off with, I'm very well, thank you. Um, hey, hey, it doll, very well indeed. Um, and I'm gonna start off with my, um, uh, my cleansers that I like and don't like, all right? So, starting off with this, Botanics Refining Microdermabrasion in a, in a um, tube, all right? And this is, Botanics is a brand sort of owned by Boots. They've done it in conjunction with Kew Gardens, which is a lovely botanical garden in England. And it's got, um, it says it's Radiant Youth Glow with, um, <coughs> ginkgo, £9.99. Um, a ginkgo plant itself is a fantastic <coughs> plant, and this is an extract, um, and it's got a lot of antioxidant properties, but what percentage they have in it, I don't know. But, you know, it does unclog pores. The um, It's got olive fruit oils in it, but then many uh, brands will have that, and shea butter, which is hopefully going to um, moisturize a little bit. It's a very, very small granule. It feels like sand. Um, so I'm just gonna put that one on that side. And on the other side, going head to head, um, Air Rocher I used when I was at school, I haven't used since. Sanctuary Cleanse Radiant Polish. Um, and this is, um, 30 years old, this brand, and it's got in it, it's kind of more goopy like that. It's got in it charcoal, and that actually helps draw out impurities. Titans pores as well, charcoal's a good um, ingredient. Castor oil, which they're using as a cleaning agent here, I use it for my brows, but it does give it um, a sense of hydration when you put it on. It doesn't feel as dry. Um, and then it has apricot granules, so it's not micro, Neat, uh, beads, which many, many, I think nearly all brands now since the ban took place, it's very rare to have something with micro beads, but it is something that means people have had to change their formulas and sometimes they haven't ended up so well. So rubbing this side, which is the Sanctuary Radiant Polisher, I feel that the product is turning on my skin and that's kind of, for me, a good thing. I feel it's absorbing in my skin. And when I press on the other side, um, on this one, I feel it's more like sand. 
um, when I'm rubbing it in. And I don't know if I kind of like that feeling, I have to say, it just feels a little bit, like when I rub it, it feels I'm pulling my skin, and this one it feels I'm not. Now one of them is trying to be a microdermabrasion, and that's why it's using that kind of sand in it to give that effect, because they're smaller granules, so it's doing a different effect. So if I compare it to Dennis, Philip Ross microdermabrasion in a bottle, would it be the same? Well, let's just wait till it comes off and I'll tell you. But this one I feel, this side, which is with the um, Sanctuary one, is definitely a more hydrating and radiant making cleanser. So rub it in a bit. Some of them, I feel the one from the Sanctuary, I could even leave on as a mask, whereas the microdermabrasion one is definitely not gonna give me any hydration whatsoever. So whilst those are on for two seconds, um, thank you, Sound Garden, that's very nice of you. Um, just reading here, trying to get my, trying to get my little ladies who are asking me questions. I have damaged my skin with a poor cleansing rose strip. Any recovery tips? I would say I used, I talked about Eye Shield yesterday, which is a fantastic recovery balm. Cosmetics do a recovery balm. Um, you know another one I'd try actually? Um, it's uh, face balms here. I've got all these face balms actually, and there's one which I really like so for that kind of thing. Pomade Divine. Yeah, this is kind of to cut, you know, to do lots of cuts um, and grazes and things like that. And I think that might be a very nice sort of gloopy. And I think I talked about it on a live recently. It looks like a gloopy stuff, but it's got very healing properties in it. So that might be quite a nice one to consider. Okay, I'm gonna now take these off. I feel the one on the right, which is the sanctuary one, that I need to take off with a cloth because I feel there's too much gunk on it, like that, there. And the one on the left, if I take off with a cloth, I still feel the sand, so I've got to take off with some water. Okay, all right. I'm telling you for the second time, um, but with exfoliators, you kind of know straight away. All right, so. The Sanctuary. What's it saying it's doing? Radiant exfoliator. Charcoal, castor oil, apricot kernel. Don't feel my skin is too tight. It's radiant because I've been exfoliating. It's not a bad exfoliator and I quite like that larger granulation. Um, radiant youth from Botanics. I feel my skin is a little drier and I, yeah, it, it didn't feel so good on the skin. So I think with using this one, you'd have to use a lot more condition, uh, uh, moisturizer afterwards. So I'm just gonna give you the prices. Botanics one is nine pounds 99. And the Sanctuary, there we go, is 10 pounds. All right, I was looking for a hot um, polish cleanser so badly because you know that I use, um, uh, you know I use a lot, Eve, I used to use Evelom cleansing balm, and then I used to use, um, Sarah Hardy, Emma Chapman. So all of those cleansing balms I love. And my latest one is De Mamiel, which is an amazing organic um, cleansing balm. So for me to go to Boots and find something that compare with any of those really, really good products is a challenge. So I'm just gonna show you the one I found that I think has a little bit of, um, it has a little bit of opportunity to compete with those products, okay? Um, let me go. So, it's from Botanics, the exfoliator I dissed. It's called Hot Cloth Cleansing Balm, and looks like that, so it's kind of, you know, just yellow gunk, and it's got in it, let me just, I wrote down what it's got in it, Hot Cloth Cleansing Balm, where are we? We're at the sink, no, we're at Botanics. Rosehip extract, which is sort of omegas and fatty acids, Jojoba seed oil, olive fruit oil, which I, I always find olive fruit oil is the cheap man's oil to make, um, you know, just olive fruit oil. It doesn't always sound like a good ingredient to me, to be honest. Um, shea butter and beeswax. So shea butter is in a lot of these products and that's slightly what's making it the yellow and what actually is the kind of lubricant in it. Um, so I'm gonna just put that on. 
it's slightly, um, you know, you have to put your finger in, but probably if you had a warm bathroom, it would warm up. And if I was doing an Evlon one, I'd put it in between my hands and just warm it up a bit, but I'm just gonna bung it on. Got some in my eye. Um, the feeling on the skin is very nice. It really has all the merits of the other more expensive products, like the Yves Long. It's very similar in consistency to Yves Long. My one question is, does it penetrate as well? Is there a surface cleansing to it, but does it go deeper? But in terms of moving the product around, in terms of the inoffensive smell, very inoffensive smell, I think I'm, I'm actually smelling that, um, I'm smelling a bit of the jojoba and the rose hip. But would that take off your makeup? Yes, it take off your eye makeup. You could be rubbing in and take off your eye makeup. Um, I like it. I do like it. It's a hot cloth product. They always sell these with a hot cloth. Um, Lizelle always sells with a hot cloth. But to me, if I use a flannel, the difference is that the flannel is a tiny bit rougher. And the person who introduced us, so you know the history, Yves Lom was the first person to do a cleansing balm before Lizelle and she introduced the muslin cloth because she started doing it. I went to see Yves Lam in 85, Pwah. 95, <laughs> so 32 years ago. Um, and everyone followed. But I've used, what is good about the actual buying the muslin cloth with it is it's finer so you can kind of use it at the end and Yves Lam would always use it at the end to sort of exfoliate the skin. That was her exfoliated process. Um, so in a way, that's what Lizelle did as well. I've got to say, my skin does feel really nice um, and very clean. I have, as you saw, exfoliated and then toned. Um, I'm mean, exfoliated and then cleansed. All right, I'm gonna go on to a totally different product now. I don't even have anything on it here, but I was in Boots and I was thinking I want to find some nice uh, masks from slightly organic brands that don't cost a fortune. So I found this one and I'm gonna try it with you. Um, hydrating facial mask, there we go. And it's by Sukin and they say, skincare that doesn't cost the earth. And what they mean by that is that double on tongue do. It's quite fluffy. I don't know what's in it. I'm gonna find out what's in it. But it's a wet mask and I've been using dry sheet masks recently. But I'm gonna compare it as it's a hydrating mask to beautiful skin. So I'm gonna put this one here, like that, all over. Oh, there's some smell in it that I... I gotta find out what it is, because there's some smell in it. Um, let's find out what's in it. Let's find, hold on one second. Good morning, ladies, I'm just doing a live. Hello. There's some ladies here for Tony London. Uh, um, Cecily. Sorry, darling, could you tell me what the Suskin, what, what it has in it? The Suskin mask, hydrating mask. I'm just doing a live. The Suskin hydrating mask. Can you give, bring me the ingredients? Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Just, I just want to know, I can't put something on my face and not know, because also there's a little heat going on to this. And then I'm going to put at the top, just to do a comparative, if I got it here, and I can see, because I think price point's going to be the same, is number seven, beautiful skin, all right? which I know very well. This is a wonderful product. This is, I think, number, the, my favorite product from number seven. The smell is like every other number seven product, but it has in it properties that really, really hydrate. So as we're waiting for those to kind of heat up before I show you makeup to do with bronze, um, I will answer some of your questions. <laughs> Sorry. Um, good morning. Good morning, um, Michelle. I love both the Una brand and exfoliators for your recommendation. They're great, aren't they? That's the rose one and the vitamin C. Um, Runa Brennan is, is a wonderful range, which I buy in boots and it's um, the super facialist. So um, any of you thinking of other exfoliators, that's on my list. And if you want to get a list of, of products I recommend, then you can go to Trini London and look at the blog. And I do have most of them there. And they're kind of put into my Sunday morning, you know, my lazy Sunday mornings. And what I'm gonna do with these lies is I'll put them up as well and I'll just list the products that I've used because I think quite a few of you see me use things very quickly, then it's gone and then there's a frustration that you can't 
find out what the product is. Hello from Australia. Hello from Australia. Hello. Hello. Come on in, Cecily. This is Cecily, my new PA. Hello. Hello. There's Hello. my name. Is there. Cecily joined us Monday. Yes. And we're very excited to have her because um, Izzy has gone on to do all the running of Trini London, all the ladies who come in. So exactly. great. All right, darling. See you in a bit. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Meet the team. So I'll tell you about the Sukum one I've got on the bottom. Um, it's Australian, because I remember actually, $16, mango seed, that's what I was smelling, avocado, pineapple extract, which I didn't smell, jojoba seed oil, and olive fruit oil. Olive fruit oil is that base ingredient that every mask and cleansing balm uses. It's what holds a product together and, and many mass markets. My shirt is an old Zara shirt, um, which I find difficult. So. Hydrating masks and creams that are on a budget. That's what we're doing today, Sam. And Beautiful Skin Number no. 7 is a wonderful mask. The one I'm trying now is, sorry, $16. So pounds is going to be about 10. I don't know why I've got in dollars. Um, and the um, all the exfoliators I'm trying are sort of 8, 10 pounds. So we're, we're sort of budget. We're not the ordinary kind of budget, but we're more budget than expensive brands. Um, Biologic Recharge P50, hello, um, JM. I use it probably two weeks a month. So when I'm doing my kind of strong routines, I will put that on. And I think what's interesting, any of these things that you see as a toner, what's really important to appreciate is they're the beginning of the next stage of skincare routine. So don't use these products to take off the rest of your makeup. You should have cleansed your, cleansed your face enough with hopefully a double cleanse. Um, I wanna get you there, ladies. Uh, that when you use something like Berger Recharge, you're preparing your skin, stripping it back to its uh, kind of most basic elements so that whatever serums you put in and, and uh, peptides and whatever else you're gonna put in, it's got a really good surface in which to put them on. So that's how I would look at that as a product. Um, but I, I love it. I, I was introduced to it by Caroline uh, Hirons. Um, what face sun protection would you recommend? Want to use a light cream serum or primer? Um, our SPF is SPF 30. It's a fantastic product and um, it really reduces inflammation. It's got extract of porcelain flour. If you need a 50, I always go to, um, let me see if I can find it, hold on. It's called Helio Care 360 and it's SPF 50 in a kind of mousse and it's brilliant. It's, it's what I use in the summer when it's very hot and I need something that's much, you know, that, that, that's the strongest thing I can get really. Um, so I use that. My Kate for cheekbones is brilliant. Thank you, Helena. It is a, a, a wonderful product. I love it so much. I used to tint to moisturize for days when I want to avoid foundation, but it feels thick like foundation. Is it worth it? Um, uh, it is better than a tinted foundation. <laughs> Um, tinted moisturizer because you put it on I'm gonna show you in a bit but you put it on like that and you rub it in and it's going to just really make your skin look soft and lovely SPF 30 and keep the color of your skin when you buy it in four different shades so to me it's it's I mean that's our best-selling product we sold thousands and I think it's an unbelievably good price when I watch this because I know the ingredients go into it um, hello, 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 good morning, hello, 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 I'm still waiting for smile. Any good skin tightening products you're aware of? And the skin tightening is not always going to be about putting a, a cream on, because sometimes creams flabby us up a bit. Um, there are certain ingredients in products that tighten skin temporarily, but skin tightening for me, if you feel you've got a bit of a jaw moment, is far more about, um, getting elasticity in your skin, which you can get through supplements. And if you look at my wonderful um, Shabir, who came to see us on Sunday on Facebook live, he spoke about fantastic supplements for skin. So treat it from within. And also microneedling, if it's on your jawline, tightens it up and then whatever serum you choose to put in, which is a sort of good antioxidant or something, it's going to help. And that combination, I think, will help tighten skin. Because when we talk about tightening skin, we don't talk about it up here, we talk about there, don't we? Um, can I use the Sanctuary one on sensitive skin? Jackie, I don't know. It doesn't say it's good for sensitive skin, but I know the Sanctuary range does a sensitive skin range, but I haven't tried the exfoliator in, in that one. My Sanctuary Rival I'm so excited, need a boost this week. Mal's, it will give you a boost, my darling. And what I suggest is when you get it, go on to Trinity London and watch those videos because 
we do something called T-tips. And if you're not a big scroller online, make an effort to scroll down because we describe how you use it, how you put it on. I'm putting it on, Charlotte's putting it on. And that really helps. And um, going on to Trini London on online, on Instagram, we have lots of um, things to show you for tips. What lip color in your range mimics lip color? Darling Cheryl, everyone has a different lip pigment color. And if you do skin, hair and eye, we kind of work out what your lip pigment color is just about going to be by the kind of pigments you've got in your skin and, and your hair and eye. So different ones for different people. If you're a kind of blonde with a very pale peaches and cream skin tone and a blue eye, it would be perhaps um, a Suze or a Eugenie. If you are my thing and I am, I wear Trintron and I'm a rosy olive, brunette hair and blue eye, my nude is generally Eugenie. Um, so there's different ones for different people. And Taya, um, which is one of our lip glows, is a very nude um, lip, lip balm. And that's a great one to use if you just want something which is kind of a wash of, um, of another color. Um, I sound like Melby of the Spice Girls. I've never, ever been told that before, but I kind of think that's quite funny. Um, sorry. I think that's quite funny. Hi, Trini. Can you give me advice on what treatments products for cystic acne? Um, Lilamb, um, I would suggest go on to Trini London, go to Tea Time, and there's two or three blogs on spot. Um, and one with Caroline Herons, one with um, me. And um, also I'm going to see a lady next week to take Chloe's um, milia to be treated. So we can uh, show you that as well. But I feel for you, I had cystic acne from 13 to 30 and I ended up taking quite strong drugs for it. Um, so um, I, I would say on a very basic level, niacinamide and zinc from The Ordinary is a really good product that people like to put on topically. Um, so anyway, Aldi have just done, Pauline's telling us a hot cloth cleansing balm for 3 99 Their caviar cream is great. Need to try. I need to do Aldi, don't I? Because quite a few of you talk to me about Aldi and I'm always thinking whenever you do, I need to go there because there's just, you know, there's cheap and then there's cheap as chips, but certain products I think one can afford to spend very little money on. And then other companies make such a huge amount of things. That, um, that, you know, it's huge quantities of things that they are able to bring their prices down. So there's two reasons why, you know, you might have a less expensive price for something where a smaller company might be charging double. Um, I wondered what I, what did I decide we buy it in? I'm taking it, I'm comfortable with it. I take it every morning. I take three capsules um, and I think it's great. Um, uh, you've a sample leave long and you love it. It's so expensive, it's worth investing. I would say the formulas change and I would do Emma Hardy or Sarah Chapman instead. Sorry, that's just my, my thought on it because I, I do, I did love it and it's changed since, um, since uh, a couple of years. I feel the, the consistency isn't the same, it doesn't sit on the skin the same and I, I, I moved on. But both of those other two brands I love and they are probably the, um, the same price as the Yves Long. In fact, the Evelon might be a tiny bit more expensive because I know it's got quite expensive. Um, so I think we've had this on for about eight minutes. I think I'm going to get a sense now of, um, of well, if it's going to do. Buy the muslin cloths from Boots in the baby section. They're just as good. They're bigger and cheaper. Miles, that's an incredibly good, um, good bit of advice if everyone had that. So I think brilliant advice. I need to actually buy more because we go through so many here as well as my um, cloths. So I'm just scrolling through and seeing things here, sorry. Um, uh, you are so full of energy. Thank you very much. Uh, please, what do you think about face masks? Nukes 48 Creme Fresh. thank you. I love it, actually. I mean, Nukes, their serum is one of my favorite original serums and the smell of that product is divine. Um, and I like that range of the, uh, the Creme Recharge. I think it's a really nice range. Occasionally with the actual cream, that's why I prefer the serum, I had pilling, which is when the product slightly comes off, but I don't think I did with the mask. So um, I think it's a good one. I must go and get it again. You're reminding me to put things on my shopping list um, because I, um, I hadn't remembered that one. Um, I hadn't remembered that one. So hold on, darling. So I'm just seeing down here. Um, I sound like Melby of Spice Girls. I know that's just so random, so random, so random. 
Okay, ladies, all right. Um, Retin-A, tretinoin for acne treatment. You know what, when I very first had acne, I took the original Retin-A, and the original Retin-A on a prescription is quite a strong product, and you will experience, um, you will experience peeling um, uh, from that product. But to go in and help with active spots, it was the, it was the original, and also for scarring. Um, Retin-A is good for scarring. But if you're using a prescription strength, I think you need to go and talk to your doctor. And if you want to use a non-prescription strength, I don't know if it's gonna have a huge effect on your acne. So I would go and seek medical advice for that. Um, hello, everybody, hello, everybody. Um, so, Trini, have you tried hydropeptide cleansers? I find the purifying cleanser great, has honey in it. I haven't, darling. I will put that on my list. Has anyone else tried them too? Um, come on, Trini, what serum do you recommend for dry and dull skin with enlarged pores? Dry and dull skin with enlarged pores, I would say vitamin C more than hyaluronic, because hyaluronic generally, as, a, as an uh, ingredient, is going to hydrate you. Um, I don't find, I'm not, I haven't yet found my favorite hyaluronic, because I think it's difficult. Hilary, you have 57 year old skin, any recommendations? Darling, I don't know your skincare routine yet, but I have to say that um, I hope you've got some antioxidants in there, some vitamin Cs, a little micro needling. Any of these things could be great for you. Declayon, I love, I used their Balm Essential many, many years ago with this um, leg reducing green gel. And I used it for my skin weirdly. A facialist told me to combine the two and it was very good. Um, and I love their Neroli um, oil. I haven't used them much recently, but they do have those beautiful oils. And they're kind of probably the one, you know, main high street kind of brand, premium high street brand, that carries oil-based products like that. Okay, take it off now. So for those of you who have joined now, I have been trying the Sukin Hydrating Facial Mask. And I have been retrying, well I know I love it, the um, number seven Beautiful Skin. And I'm sort of comparing the two because the Sukin one is $16 and the Beautiful Skin is about the same. So I kind of, let me just look at my skin again. Hmm. It's nice, it's a nice mask. Does my skin feel more plump and well? Yes. Does it feel dry? No. Well, it's a hydrating mask. Um, does it feel the pores have tightened as well? Because to hydrate and tighten pores is quite tricky. I like that mask. Yes, I would give it eight out of 10, that mask. I'll put it on afterwards. Really nice. Um, so that's it. Trini, best cleanser for oily acne skin. I've taken some red. I've taken such red bad skin to Dr. Lance, probably you, as I've used it too much. Be careful with your, your skin, darling, if you really exfoliate. Sometimes when you've got bad skin, we do the same, just go away, you bloody spot. And I've overdone that too at times. Um, put something calming on it. I'd put um, a calming balm. I'd put Rose Hip from Trilogy, just something to give your skin a rest. Um, and then really be careful with your exfoliation. You know, don't, don't go mad. I go mad, but I have very tough skin now. And when you've got a few spots and you're doing that, you've got to be careful. I haven't used Truffle S Mask. Um, the product, I, oh, the product, sorry darling, I will show you. There were two, Sukin Face Hydrating, and I got that in Boots. It's about beauty that cares about the planet. Uh, there we go. It's back to front, but I'll try and put it on. Um, did I find a cleansing balm under a tenner? I didn't. Beautiful skin there. But let me just see. The um, Yes, I did. Sorry. I did, and I like it. Yes, I did find a cleanser for under a tenner. The Botanics. It's pretty good. Botanics Organic Hot Cloth Cleansing Balm with Rosehip. It's £8.99. So, yes, I would use that in comparison with the current Eve Long. Boom. Not much difference. Okay, ladies, I've got to now get on. I've got one last product to show you. You know I always scream my head off about saying I cannot bear these kind of L'Oreal Age Defying Creams. I have one in my hand. I bought it. It was £24. Or £24? Revitalizing day cream for 50 to 70 year olds. That's me. Let me put it on. So, what's in it? First of all, an incredibly strong smell. Um, fermented black tea, which actually is in um, this product. 
right there. That product, which is Fresh's product, which is a fantastic product. So that, that's interesting. I wonder if I can have the two here. I wonder if they copied it. They wouldn't copy it, would they? Um, so this one is the... Oh, it's a face mask, though. But they do have a cream on it. All right, so it's got that. It's polyphenols and vitamin B. Uh, stimulate skin's natural cell renewal and prolonged vitality. Uh, SPF 15. SPF 15. Why bother? That's what I'll say. Um, so the texture is very nice. You put it on. Actually, I can smell through all that horrible car freshness smell they put on this product. I'm sorry. I, um, I can feel it penetrates a bit. But what I also notice with this product, <laughs> I want to be nice. I want to be nice! I want to be nice. <laughs> Is um, it goes in, and I think 57-year-olds, they just say to themselves, you know, a lot of ladies in their 60s, my mum sort of more towards 80, she wants something that just makes her feel it's hydrating and she only has one thing on and she grew up with the skincare routine that was so minimal. So weirdly, I would say, I put that on and what it's doing, it's giving me a surface shininess. Do you notice that? But as, is my skin feeling hydrated or is it sitting on the surface? And that's what I can't figure out. You know, I, this is my thought. <laughs> Maybe this should be retargeted. I don't know if Helen Mirren is the one that promotes this. I think so. But it should be for sort of 70 to 90 year old women who have grown up with a very small skincare routine and just want to put something on to make them feel cozy. That's what I think, because you're 50, I'm 50. I don't want that heavy, just surface moisturizing cream on my face. I want to do more. We should be doing more. No, I'm gonna, sorry. <laughs> I'm, gonna re I'm just gonna remove that now. <laughs> I'm gonna remove that now and go back to another friend. <laughs> Bambi is our failure shade, yes, darling, sorry. Uh, face mist non-aerosol for flying. Yes, face mist non, oh, non-aerosol. Yes, I've got some hydrating mist for flying. Um, I'll tell you the ones I like. Um, I've, got, I've got a few, honey. Oh my God, somebody's taken them away. Oh my Lord. Um, Omrit Sokova has one. Omrit Sokova has one and Votary, oh, I'm gonna put that on today. I love that product, sorry. I'm gonna carry it away here. Um, Nourish, let me just see. No, oh, I always look at this brand. Nourish Refining Toning Mist. No, I don't like that. Product. Sorry. Um, moisturizing Surge Face Spray, Clinique. Moisturizing Surge Face Spray. Let's see what that's good. That's giving any hydration. You all, I mean, many of us like Moisture Surge. It's an iconic product. Um, but that does give a good bit of hydration. My favorite product when flying, even though we love a spray, I'm going to do when I go to Tokyo, a whole flying and what to do in your kit when you travel. I'm already writing up with my Dymo rod, um, the products and the ingredients. So I put on Votary Toning Serum, one of my all time favorite products when I'm doing an organic moment. It's got lemon and neroli in it. Votary is a marvelous range. Um, I've gone expensive again here, but in terms of pure organic, beautiful products, toning serum, so it's like a toner with a tiny bit of oil in it, it's just, it's divine, divine, really, really love this, I forget how much I lost, I just found it, best eyeshadow eyeliner for watery eyes, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you honey, I'm going to show you, um, so I'm just looking here, um, Hello ladies, hello ladies, hello ladies, hello ladies. Sorry, I'm just looking for your comments before I go on to my next bit so I can answer some questions. Um, blah, 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 um, blah, 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 Okay, so there we go. Okay. Good morning from Athens, Grace, good morning. Um, uh, try unable bean or start oil cleansing. Yes, we could do that, that's, that's one. Um, that's one we can consider. Um, okay, deep tear troughs, should I do filler, any other ideas? 
it's tricky, darling, because fill around the eyes is really just something that you've got to consider very carefully. I've seen some jobs which aren't great. If you've got deep troughs, some people do just do um, concealer. I'm presuming concealer for you is tricky. There was somebody on my live yesterday that might still be on that was got, giving a lot of advice. I have no idea who they are about under eye filler and you could look at what she says and go and look at their site, but I don't know about them. Um, you're loving rain cleansers, hello darling. Um, hello ladies, hello ladies. Is the Ordinary Retinol range any good and how do you use it into your daily skincare routine? I think the Ordinary Retinol range is very good. It's well thought through. It's um, got great products in it. There's different, um, there's different types. I'm gonna use Elixir Universal Marshall today. There's different types of retinol there. And if you go on their site, it's very informative. You might think it's confusing, but what it will do is it will have to say strength of product and, um, and um, amount of recovery time or something, but you can work out how sensitive your skin is. I would always use retinol, me personally, at night, and I use them as a sort of last stage of my skincare routine, so I'll cleanse, and then I might put on a Biologique Recharge, uh, and then I would put on a retinol. But I think it's a great place to start, and I think the price point is very good. Okay, all right. Um, so how often should you microneedle I would say you've got to build it up with your skin. I microneedle twice a week and I use a 0 0.3 or a 0 0.5 and on my body I use one. So you've got to start it gently, do those little mixed moments. I'm gonna do a whole microneedling again quite soon because I've got two new products um, to try and two new microneedles to try, which I can't wait to share with you in the next um, in the next week. So. When I do that, I might do it live and show you how I use them. What do you think about bio oil on skin at night, good or bad? I think bio oil is something that's been shown to be used for scarring and things, but as a skincare routine, I think it's incredibly simple. Um, it depends your age, darling. You could be in your 20s and coconut oil would be nice for you, um, or bio oil. But if you're wanting something more from a skincare routine and you feel perhaps there's some issues around your skin, then you could think of something a little bit more. That's that's my kind of suggestion, yes. Um, that's my kind of suggestion for you. For boys, everything I put on here, um, boys can use, so don't think you can't use it. Um, I'm glad. Oh, the number seven cleansing balm, I'll look at that too. I wasn't sure about that. Quarterly, I like their products. I love the fact that it's all based on, on these um, great extracts. Um, do you get the Lauren Pickett copper peptide serum? He's a male version of Julie Hunter. No, I'm going to look that up now. That's, that's just incredibly exciting um, because you all know how much I love Julia Hunter. So um, I will look. Go Aussie, Sukin, you must try their Super Greens Exfoliator. I can't wait to try. I'm, I'm into the brand, so I'm very like, can you get Boots products online? Do they ship to Australia? I'm afraid I don't know. The best thing is, to go online and and see when you go to check out. So yes, that's what that's what I would suggest. Okay, I'm gonna do my, um, will I do for a live from Boots anytime soon? Yes, I will, that's a very good idea. Um, why is it backwards? Because I have my phone on back to front and I'm facing my phone and everything's backwards. But if you'd like to have information on the products, I will today list it if I remember to save it. So, so okay. <coughs> Today I'm going to use one pump of light and one pump of medium. But this is the BFF and this is the product from Trini London that I use at the beginning of my skincare routine. I have to say today, because I've got on this weird dodgy colour, doing my makeup is going to be slightly different because it's a colour that's sort of nearly khaki but there's a bit more bronze in it. And it's not my best colour. But the reason I'm wearing it is it goes well with my whole outfit, which you can see later on. Um, I'll put it up on my Instagram. But it's sometimes there are things like that, that, that it's not our perfect, perfect color and we want to do it. Um, that is my um, BFF in Trintron. And that's my shade that I use. Um, and I'm just going to put it under my eyes. I was a little bit tired last night and I didn't sleep for many hours. So I'm just gonna put that under there and when you do concealer I know I say it every time but in case somebody new is watching don't go around in a total panda eye start in the corner 
and work your way out in this sort of triangle because then you won't have that sort of pale under eye look and always get to your concealer, whatever brand you use, in the same shade as your skin. Going lighter under your eye won't actually cover any dark circles you have anymore. What will cover very, very um, dark circles with a little bit of, you know, little blue tinge in them is actually color correctors underneath, so like an apricot color corrector and Becca do very good color correcting products. So for those of you who really suffer from under eye dark circles, instead of just putting on that paler um, um, concealer, consider going and looking at the color correctors people have and trying them out. NYX also do some color correctors. They do an apricot one, which I've used a little bit. Um, and I would say that's a much better thing to do. So I'm evening out my skin tone, and then I'm just going to do a little bit of cheekbones here, like that. Sorry, I can't read your questions. Let me read as I do it. Um, what was the oil again? Um, sorry, what was the oil again? I've gone expensive again. Oh, that, it's just beautiful. Um, it's the Votary um, Lemon and Neroli Toning Serum. It's unbelievably divine. It's just fantastic. It's really, really fantastic. Um, so, yes. Trini, have you tried Clinique Fresh Press Daily Booster with vitamin C? I haven't. You know I'm funny about Clinique, but I, I need to, I need to try and look at Clinique again, don't I? I know I do. I know I do. I will go there, ladies. I will go there, okay? <laughs> Best hydrating anti-aging day cream. Very difficult, my darling, to say when your skin is not in front of me because we all have different skin issues and um, I'm just using some face finish here to get rid of my shine. Um, we all have different skin issues and we need to address them according to whether we have pigmentation, whether we are 30 and 50, whether we've been in the sun, lots of things. So I can't, I can't give one specific answer, I'm sorry. Is this the competition winner video? E no, it's not, darling, because the competition is still running because I stopped it yesterday at 12. So um, I will take, everyone can still enter. Um, for my eyes today, I'm gonna do a little something special because I've got this kind of bronze color on. So I'm gonna start with a bit of fortune on just my lid like that, tiny bit. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of, no, I'm going to do a light chariot. What am I talking about today? I mean, talk about matching your makeup to your blouse. Let's just see. Sometimes it's a dodgy idea and sometimes it's not. So I just start gently. When you use our darker shades, you want to just start really gently putting on the color so that you don't go mad. And I kind of keep my um, eye, I'm sorry, I keep my finger at that angle. There. See? It's quite a pretty color. I'm just going to do the other side. There. Very difficult looking in a phone to do it, but I like to show you how it can actually be done with your fingers. So I'm just doing the other side now, like that. There. I want to. I want to read your comments. So let me just. I'm going to finish up. Then I'm going to take. Some of you say, "Can you use a?" Um, you can use a brush. So if you use a brush, just you can just start. I'd start when you use a brush. Start right at the eye lid and then branch it out. And then if you want to, you can just do under the eye, very gently looking up, just to get a little bit of a, an under eye color at the bottom, but so gently like that. Okay, um, and then I'm just gonna do the other Sorry, I want to do this quickly now, because I've gotta go. So just go side to side, like it's a washer brusher, like that, and then just Pat and blend it like that. Okay, so my eyes are looking a bit brighter. I'm now going to do a little bit of wigs on my cheeks because I need a little bit of color on my cheeks. There we go. Don't do it with the same color in which you just did your eyes, which I just did just now. So that just warmth, that sort of lovely, pretty apricotty color warms up my whole skin like that. Flush blush is the one thing you can't put on your lips. Um, and then I'm just going to take a little bit of Chloe there and just press it on just to give some definition. And I do need a depth of colour 
but because I got a light smoky eye, I don't want it to, to be too strong. And then I'm actually today going to take Taya, which is a brownie color, and put it on. So my look is quite a sort of bronzed look. Do you see? Slightly bronzed, slightly bronzed. And then I am going to, what am I going to do next? I'm going to do my, hang on, let me just, just do that there. Um, I will read the rest of your questions. I'm just going to do this first. Okay, so quickly the rest of your questions, ladies. Um, good morning, any suggestions about body anti-aging products? I love, love this, love this which is amylite and it's actually good for that crepey skin and that kind of chicken skin we get. It's a very, very good body moisturizer. And I got it from Victoria Health, which is, it's just a product I love. Have I done my, done my thing? Okay, I'm ready for the day. Ready, oh, mascara! I'm looking at myself thinking, what do I need next? Sorry, ladies, I'm just gonna put mascara on. Um, there we go. Um, so go in, curve and pull out. Go in, curve, and pull out. Go in, curve, and pull out. We hum, go in, curve, and pull out. Curve. This is a lovely mascara. There we go. And I do put on my bottom lashes sometimes, a little bit like that, just a soupçon there. And I'm done. It's been very long winded today. I will try, ladies, to remember now. I'm going to say it to myself, say it to myself, say it to myself. I'm going to save this video. We'll put it up on Tea Time so you can find all the products that I've talked about and um, and just um, just get get little bits of um, things that you need. All right, great. Have a good day, ladies. Bye. Oh, hang on. I got to remember to save it. One second. End.